Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. Today we are going over your pictures. This is the Heads Up Show every Sunday for what? This three is, months now? This is week 18. Welcome. We want to see your ugliest helmet. Send us your dogs, your nasty twos and threes. There's no sevens, eights, and nines in those. No, movies. you see, I'm too nice sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. And sometimes. Uh, I'm looking for something where I want, I want you to like, I'm looking for stuff that's wrong. Or and maybe if you do have a helmet and you just know that you're somebody who doesn't know what they're doing in general. That's true. It's chance, Chances are that maybe you screwed something up and I'll, you want to see if I can find it. And if you want to see your helmet on this show, send your photos to pics at greengridiron.com. Just attach your photos right in the emails. You can tell us a little bit about yourself. And if your helmet makes this show, you will get something for free. And be patient because we are getting so many photos yeah. still it might take a few weeks uh we usually do about 12 or 13 per week so we try to fill it up so enjoy your sunday if you're watching this uh i want to jump right into it all right uh first up cole all right cole let's see what you got here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right cole let's we see we have what looks to be some sort of a this is an, an older version of an air xp Pretty cool. So what we have going yeah. on here, this is a this, this to me looks like a game used helmet that has been reconditioned or at least painted and modified because you can see some scarring on the helmet underneath uh, the paint because the paint doesn't look like it's chipped off or anything like that. It appears to be some relatively new decals on here. Uh, overall, I think this is a pretty good look. I do too. I like the layout. Twenty three means a lot to him, so he's got it all on there in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Yeah. A, a, a color scheme that we like, which is that yes. yellow and Seattle blue. I'm going to give this guy right out of the gate. It's not one of the newer, sexier helmets. No. I'm, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the older style. If you guys haven't figured that out, I like the <laughs> new, sexy ones. I'm going to give that guy a six point five. Six point five. You got away easy because you're it's early in the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're setting it as long as I'm consistent throughout the show. That's what we want. This is true. From this one week to true. the next. It's kind of like a baseball umpire. Next up, Isaiah. All right, Isaiah. So we got a lightweight face mask on here, the S2B DLWV. Nice We've photo. We've got an Under Armour clear visor, obviously Under Armour clips, Riddell chin strap. This is a going on a speed helmet. And this, I'm, this looks like the helmet he wears in either high school or youth. And the way that the chin strap positions, it looks mm -hmm. like it is ready for it to go onto his head. Talk, let's talk about the photo here, because he obviously watches the show. We appreciate that, and we can tell. Steve, yes. tell him how we can tell. All right, so he set this up in nature. He turned it nice a little bit, a, a little too extreme, but that's okay. And he got that solar, that lens flare in there, and he did it great. Sun's up in the corner. I'm a huge fan of the lens flare. Looks personally. great. And this J. J. is JJ Abrams style. This is to me. This is perfect to put up on your Instagram or exactly or whatever. Yep. Right. What, what do we give an Isaiah? Uh, you know what? I, I'm gonna. I was gonna give him a kind of a low score because it's a fairly um, common helmet combination. He's got mm -hmm. through a visor in there, but that's sure. probably about it. But I just like the flare, so I'm gonna. I don't typically give extra points Ooh, for stuff like that. There I'm you go. Like the flare. So I'm going to go with uh, 6.5. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wait till you see this one, Randy. All right, Randy. Mac Attack. This thing is beautiful. This thing is custom. This That's thing sick. is got a lot going on. And it makes me smile. <laughs> it's either this is uh, Randy's a, a collector himself, or he. Uh, Get, he works at a, a collectible shop or something where the, a lot of these are going on because I see a Broncos and a Bears helmet in the background there. Yeah. This is a really nice chrome job. So, Randy, whoever did your chrome, if you did your chrome, really nice job. And you've got chrome decals on the side. Great color ink choice in the pen with it the is. autograph. I think it looks fantastic because I don't think you can duplicate this wet candy coat of a look. With just paint. I agree. I think it's spot on. The photos are just good enough. There's nothing really special it, or exceptional, but the helmet is out. It is. It. This is getting get a really high score because yeah. I know what goes into this. It's not getting a perfect score because I would, if it was me, I would do a couple extra things on here, like a visor pieces here and there. Um, but I'm gonna go with like a nine point six. Whoa, man! There's some great ones in this one. So right. well, are they better than that? 
No, not better, but equally cool. So I love this. There was a little theme in this show, and this it's kind of blue collar and truck. And this one is a perfect example. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got it on the 70. Are you, are you a Ford guy, Steve? I like pickups, though. I like trucks. I'm a Chevy guy, but I just, I don't know. This is cool. He's got it on the flatbed. This is a real blue collar working man helmet. Well, it's I'm, beautiful. I'm kind of a Ford guy. I'm a big uh, Mustang fan. I'm not mm. a Ford pickup guy. I, I drive a Ram well, true. myself. Yeah. But either way, I can appreciate a good truck just like the next guy. The helmet looks great. It's either brand new or never played in. I mean, it's yeah. got a really nice... You, whatever you did when you took the picture, it, it, it captured it's, the essence of... It's shining. It's, it's, it's like nail just, polish. It's just waiting to get used. And I would almost say it's so shiny and new. It looks so shiny and new that it may even be a painted red helmet instead of a impregnated. There's nothing special going on with this helmet. No, no. Nope. Nothing special. It's just a great picture. It's all about and the that's photo. That's what we love. I'm hoping that you guys out there are learning from listening to us, yeah. and especially him, on how to position them and the lighting and all that stuff. That like That's something you could take that, I could take that picture, mm -hmm. and it looks awful. He could take the picture, it looks fantastic, of a very plain helmet. So I'm going to give this guy a 7. 7-0. Seven See, that? that's how it's done, man. Good work. All right, next up, Nick. Uh, you're going to like it. I am love. I, am I gonna like it? Well, I love when people send in their projects of all the stages of it. That's why you're gonna love it, I think. Guy did a great job. And look at this. On the back, he even, and that's his name and number. It, we'd be here all day if we were talking about the things that we liked about it. The pieces that I don't like about it, I would say the squared off chin strap ends. Hmm, okay. If you so, have to be, I so mean, that, I know so, I. So that's how far I got to go wow. to find something that I don't like. Get, getting picky because you <laughs> have to. The star is put on properly. You see how the it's uh, parallel yep. with the brow of the Why? visor, or excuse me, the face mask. Uh, it, obviously, all the stuff on the back is put together great. He's got the flag on the right side of the helmet, which makes perfect sense because now the Cowboys wear the flag on the left side of the helmet. But Not with that helmet. This is an older helmet. Yep. I'm going to give this guy a 9.2. <sighs> Even nice. though it's on the on an old Revolution helmet. That's when you know you did something it's, right. It's legit. Garrett's in here, and I left something in here. Um, no, he basically just left a little, you know, he says he watches the show all the time, and he bought some stuff from us. Thank you very much. Um, cool photos. Mm-hmm. So we had a Vice's helmet. Yep. We got white clips. Face mask has been used and abused a little bit. I'm wondering if this has been reconditioned or if it was purchased like this and it's just he's just gonna kind of gone out and used it in practice a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we got chrome decals. We've got visor tab decals. He said match. he made them himself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, nice job. That arrow probably means something on yep. the back, which I think is cool. Nice layout. I like the numbers in the back too. And I love the photos out in nature. He got down really nice and low. Mm -hmm. This one up where he got nice and crafty and up close. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good work, man. Really good. This is scary. Yeah. yeah I'm going to go. I'm giving big, big high score on this guy just because we don't see very many vices helmets. No. And I like seeing stuff that we don't see all the time. Absolutely. So I'm going to give this guy an 8.2. Nice. We are feeling the love today. Next up, Tara. Are you ready for the, oh, the bulldog? All right, the Tara. bulldog. And it's 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 probably <laughs> it's... not a Georgia bulldog's helmet. No. Oh, true. Um, it looks like it's used. Uh, this is a DNA, Steve. I don't. We know how we feel about it. I'm, I'm not. A fan oh, you hate it so much. The DNA. But look the at the dog on the carpet. Well, and who who doesn't love bulldogs? <laughs> It's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I see a bulldog now, for some reason I, 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 I remember this story. Howard Stern was talking about Howard Stern as a bulldog, and he somehow, I don't know, it fell in the pool or something and just sank to the bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, just, they can't mate. They Which can't. is awful to laugh at, but it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. So, as long as you're there. Yeah. I like this picture, though, the one without the dog. It's actually really like dramatic lighting. I don't know if they meant it or not, but nice stuff. I would say I'm going to give him the benefit of that and say yes, they there you did. Go. They did mean it. Um, so we've got points lost for the 
being a DNA helmet, yeah. but it, 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 it does look like a good helmet. This is a helmet that I know looks would look good on a shelf or something. Yeah. Obviously, with a dog there, and you got him to stay still. I mean, of all dogs, to you get made to stay it to still. the show. It's probably the, one of the easier dogs to get to stay <laughs> Just still. Just lie right? there. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go and give this guy a. 6.7. I knew you. I, I, I don't blame you. I, I think that that's a fair score. All right, next up, Jake F. He thinks that this photo represents his small town in Pennsylvania. And I, I would agree. I, I would agree. Yeah. Uh, if you had asked me what state this was, it could be about, oh, I don't know, 35 out of 50. Exactly. <laughs> um, maybe even more. Um, this tells me, I, you know, you see a, a weather van like this and it's farm or yep. rural, rural area. Yeah. The helmet looks great, kind of similar to a few others that we've seen here. We, so this is a uh, youth small helmet or extra small. You can tell this is the face mask on this helmet is not an adult or not a standard size face mask. They only go on the small sized youth uh -huh. helmets. See that? Right. And then we got a sports star chin strap on there. Uh, we've got white buckles. And that's the only photo. Yeah, I, I think it's good. It's obviously, I mean, you can see, I, even I can tell right here this is coming off of an iPhone or a camera phone. Yep, yeah, right, right here, yeah. But, yep. I mean, the overall, it's red, white, and blue. It's Americana, and the thing that mm -hmm. I find the best part about this photo is that it's 100% straight. I'm going to give Jake, because it's something, I don't, because I think it's the first time we've seen a small oh, yeah, you're speed right. face mask in the show. He's going to get bonus points for that alone. I don't, I'm leaving the weather vane out of this one, okay. and I'm going to go with a 7.1. Wow. He's got That's huge pretty bonus generous, points, and nobody man. else can get those bonus points. <laughs> They're gone. They're, they've expired. Nice. All right, next up is Marcus, and he says, hey, I'm Marcus. I play football in Sweden. So... Nice color combination. We see a lot of yellow and Seattle blue. blue. Yes. Yep. And people are, are liking the tilt. There's two things I'm going to correct with both of these uh, photos. There you go. I'm about to learn something here. All right. So the one where it's facing left and pointing way up, that's nice. It's just it's too much. Just a little less. And, and what do you call this tilt? You have a special name for it, right? It's called it's Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. Dutch. And then the one where the face mask is tilting down, the boards are facing down. You'd, you'd never want really a thing. You always have it face the way you like. You'd never want it facing mm -hmm. down. So that angle is perfect, but it should have been facing the other way. Up. Right. So and whenever you do Dutch, the thing that's going in a direction, this, is, this is looking in that direction. It, going it up. looks, and the, yeah. And this is shot with an iPhone on portrait mode. Again, you can see in between the face mm -hmm. mask. Mm -hmm. But good work aside from that. You still made this show up um, and... Cheers from the USA. And it's a color combination we like. I guess, you know, we've got the another lightweight mask on here. That's fine. Uh, we've got, this is an adult helmet. So that mask, you can't get that mask. When you buy a helmet, it doesn't come with this mask anymore. That tells me that this is probably an older mm. helmet. Whoever has this has had this helmet for a while. A thing that I want to correct in here, so I like the color, this color combination too, of course. Um, you've got the matching chin strap. That's great. The decals on the side of the helmet. I'm going to guess that all of the decals on all of the helmets for this team were put on the exact same way, but I would take them and I would turn them. So they're not parallel with the brow right. or the upper brow of the face mask. That's a super little thing and it's really it's up to the team. Team can do whatever the hell the team wants to do. Overall, it's clean. I like the pictures and all that. I'm going to go with a 6.1 on this all right. guy. All right. That, that makes sense. Next up, Drew. A little hard to see, but I know what he was going for. And I actually really like them. I think um, the sun is just a touch too much. You could have put your hand over the lens a little bit to block some of that sun. Aside from that, really good effort. Nice composition with the stand. Tell me, Steve, what is Drew going for here that you think? I think he's going for what that other guy tried to get in the other, like the sun in with the nice effect over the helmet, nice lens flare. Kind of like a, a, a ray of sunlight coming from the heavens. Yes, yeah. I mean, it looks well, really good. Well, it's well, close. How, but how do you do that? Because I, I know that when I'm pulling out my camera and I am a amateur for sure, I know sometimes what I want mm -hmm. and I know where I am. I don't know how to, even when I think that I know how to take a, a shot a, speci a specific way, I can't get it. I'll show you real quick a tip. So say, Here's your phone. It probably took it with a phone, and you get on the ground 
and here's the sun, here's the building, just take your hand and go like this mm -hmm. and just create your own little hood, an umbrella for it to block some of that light from directly hitting the lens and you'll still but get it, the nice effect. Oh, but you'll still get the beam of, of light? It's tricky, man. You gotta watch, move your hand slowly. There's just enough or total eclipse. You gotta get it right in that sweet spot. So, interesting. yeah. Okay. But it's not, okay. it's nice though, really nice. And, and this, would you say this is taken with, from a, with a camera phone? If so, he did a really great job of getting the focus in point. It, it might be with a, with a DSLR, but. It's, yeah, because it looks super sharp. Yeah, and you notice foreground. this one, if I had to guess, this is an iPhone on portrait mode, this is an iPhone regular mode. Okay. That would be my guess. Uh, so, But it's nice, thing. simple USA football. I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna go with a 6.1 again. Okay, that makes sense. All right, I like it. Next up, Harrison. It's another truck, it's another truck. That's a, that's a big old GMC. That looks like my truck close. Who doesn't like trucks? No. Really nice layout on the photo with the composition of it. And I know it's a very, probably, you know, very new. It hasn't been used yet. Kind of stock, but not really. It's got a lot of... So we're going to give Drew some extra points, too. Drew's yeah. got a cam lock with a black chin strap, right? Yeah. 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 He's got Under Armour clips on his visors, but he does not have an Under Armour visor, which says it tells me that he does have an Under Armour visor somewhere. He's not on the helmet. <laughs> Um, or he, I guess he could have bought the clip separate, but it's kind of a generic visor. And it's a red paint that is either a, just like a matte red, that that's how the helmet came, or he painted the helmet himself, possibly in reconditioning. But I'm gonna say that it came that way because it looks pretty decent. Yeah, It doesn't look fantastic um, of a paint job to me. It's but, hard too because it looks like he boosted the color and the saturation a little bit too, um, which is fine. But that that changes things. Yeah, but a sometimes bit. right from the factory, the paint jobs don't look fantastic mm -hmm. yeah. anyway. Um, blackout package all around. Everyone knows that I like that black chin strap that works. Uh, I'm gonna go with a seven point one. All right. Yeah, yeah I told you. Getting, this is get, a, getting points for the cam locks. This is a good day. All right, we got. Eric next with another Vices. We have a Vices. This is interesting. We have a Vices with a Shock 2.0 visor and yeah. Under Armour visor clips. Some people would say those are upside down. I'm not one of those people because I know that the Under Armour visor clips can be worn both ways depending on how it fits the helmet best. We got a Sports Star chin strap in black and we've, got, like a, we've got a blackout package on the or a, a black bumper, we'll yeah. say, a, a Vices black bumper. I like uh, the 2.0 on the Vices. It's actually a nice fit. Yeah. 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 He said he had it laying around, so he threw it in there. Yeah. He, yeah. Yep. So I think I think all those it's things cool. are great. It's it's unique. Looks like we might have a chrome decal yeah. in the Tiger Paw. It's a, uh, it is a mirror. Here's what's interesting to see. It's a mirrored Tiger Paw, which appears to be a knockoff of the Clemson Tigers, but then it was, it's been mirrored, whereas Clemson Tiger Paws are not mirrored. Right. Yeah, they that. always have them facing one o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Right, depending on, which, depending on which side you're looking at, it always faces yeah. uh, the same way. Um, what do you think of Eric's setup? I'm gonna go with a 7.0. Okay. Right. Yeah, I like seeing the Vices helmets. I so do cool. I. And this one had a very pretty interesting setup. I'm not normally a fan of yellow, but that looked nice. I like this one a lot, too. This is last up, by the way, William. All right, William, let's see what you got. All right. You set it up in front of the stadium. I can't tell, but it looks like on the gold helmet. Can't tell. It's a little, it's a little small. Um, I don't know much about the second helmet in here, but it does look like it's got like a Super Bowl. And I love that they took these and they went out to the stadium. Exactly. And got the stadium in the background. I don't know about how I feel about the parking lot. Or, I know. Or whatever Come that is. on. It's not his fault, but my goodness. They got to make that look nicer. Yeah, come on, Charlotte. Seriously. Come on, um, Charlotte. I'm going to give it to you guys an average score of 7.8. 7.8. You heard it here. That's all we have time for. We have one minute to wrap this show up. Thank you very much. Leave your comments below. Did we get these ones right? Did you not like the way that we talk about these things? What can we do better? Yeah. Um, or are we just perfect? Um, but leave your comments below. Like, subscribe. Click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Send your pictures. We'll Send in your ugly pictures. We'll talk about them. And uh, until next time, cheers. Cheers.